What is a dud? What is a dud? Everybody, everybody thinks that a dud is what Phil just described, and of course it is. But that's not all a dud is. There's a lot more to a dud than just a shell that goes up and then comes back and, and smacks the ground. Examples of duds would be the flower pot shell breaks in the pipe and comes out in a nice display of vertical uh, colors. Then there's the, uh, the shell that fails to take fire on the way up. It, it comes out of the gun, but nothing lit off. Or maybe something did let, uh, the fuse did light off, but when it got to where it was supposed to burst, it didn't. Or maybe it got to where it was supposed to burst, it did burst, but nothing burned. It just, it just it detonated in the air, and you got a scattering of stars and sightings or other kinds of components all over the ground. Those are all examples of duds. Let's talk a minute for about the, the, the flower pot shell. And a flower pot is probably the most common type of dud there is. Time delay fuse ignition failure. This is the common dud. This is where you, you and we'll talk for a minute about both styles, fuse up, fuse down techniques. The real, a real embarrassing situation was we had some people uh, helping us at the plant put the lift charge on shells one year and got out in the field on one of the shows and loaded the bomb in the, into the mortar pipe. The match hit and nothing. Three seconds later, boom! No lift charge, right? There's another idea, you know? You can, if you're doing 2,000 shells a day it's, and everybody's jibber-jabbering at the table, it's possible one gets by, you know, and no, they're not watching. But, you know, th these are the kinds of things you gotta be careful of. Uh, fortunately, that's a rare thing. Okay, there's, there's another, uh, me, uh, there's another reason why we get duds, and that is once the fuse burns, this is a common one here, the fuse, the fuse does ignite, but it burns out. You can see the tracer go up, and then all of a sudden nothing, you can't find it. Now you're looking for the truck to dive under, because it's coming back, you know. So this is the true dreaded dud, the one that takes fire, it goes in the air, you see the tracer, and then bingo, it's gone. Where is it coming back? Where's the wind? How did you angle your pipes? A million thoughts start going through your head, and you're telling all your guys, shut up, shut up, be quiet. Be quiet, I gotta hear where it hits. I gotta find it, you know? Well, if you don't hear it hit, and it hits you, your, your problems are over, but if it hits the ground, you gotta find it. And you gotta find it that night. And yes, you can't have blind stars. That's when you can have blind components, meaning, in this case, a shell that bursts, but the parts don't light off. Okay? Now the problem can be either the stars or the components are not ignitable is enough for the design of the shell, or from Derek's point of view, the shell is not designed properly for the ignitability of the star. It depends on which end of that explanation you're looking at. Once you get a design that works, once you've experimented with different kinds of primers, different kinds of star, star formulas to, to mate with your shell design, or then maybe having to change things about your shell design to make the stars perform better with more ignition, then you freeze the design. Once you get a marriage between all the components of a shell, you freeze it. Now we're talking about the laws of nature here physics and chemistry, okay? You can't fool Mother Nature. There's, there's no future in trying to fool Mother Nature. It don't work. You gotta, you gotta learn what that shell needs, that design needs to make it work properly. Once you find it out, you stop changing the design. You freeze it. If you wanna improve on it, continue to experiment to improve on it. But again, each step of the way as it gets better, you freeze it. If you try to take shortcuts, you try to cheat, you don't have the right glue and you, you don't want to wait for it to, to come in the mail or you can't find a place to buy it or whatever, you're going to have a problem. Everything, minute detail, from the glue to the string to the disking to the amount of paper you put on it to the ignitability of the stars, when they're all working together as a system, it's a marriage of all those components. When something isn't right, as Derek was saying yesterday, then you have blind stars or blind components.